What's going on? Tommy. Oh, good, good, good. Listen, listen, uh, listen. I like fish. I love fish. I love them as pets in bowls or as food on a plate. But as much as I love them, I don't want to sleep with them, okay? But right now, your Italian brothers are coming from up there to fit me with some cement shoes. And I... Shut up, Ken. Sit down. Lance, what the hell's going on? It's your friends up north, Tommy. They ain't too happy you kept their man. They're coming down to see the business today. They took longer than I thought. Guys, we gotta make this final. We gotta leave no doubt that this is my operation. Mine! Ken, you get the first one of counterfeit cash and put 20 mil in briefcases. Lance, you get the guys together. Tommy! What? No big hugs for your old buddy? I've had 15 years out of the loop. I'm a bit rusty <laughs> on family etiquette. Oh, he's angry, huh, Tommy? Didn't I say your temper would get you into trouble, huh? There's three mil in the cases. How many was it? Ten? No, eleven men. That's how you get to be called the Howard Butcher. <laughs> you sent me to kill one man. One man! They hey, knew Tommy, I was coming, Sonny. Tommy! Watch your tone. Anyone would think you blame me for that unfortunate set of circumstances. Just take the money. Get the damn cash. You know, Tommy, I did what I could for you. I pulled strings, called in favors. I was your friend, Tommy. I hoped you'd see sense, see what's good for business. I trusted you, Tommy, and you disappointed me. But at least someone in your chicken shit organization knows how to do business. Isn't that right, Lance? I'm sorry, Tommy. This is Vice City. This is business. <laughs> you sold us out. No. I sold you out, Tommy. I sold you out. The real cash is upstairs in the safe. So, Tommy, what was the big plan? You think I'd just take the fake cash, save face, and run away with my tail between my legs? No. I just wanted to piss you off before I kill you. One to cover your ass now, eh, Tommy? You're going down, you backstabbing prick. Oh, you think so? You don't need it. Anymore. Come here, you double-crossing piece of shit! Your history, Tommy! History! For Lance fans. I said I had enough of that at school. You picked the wrong side, Lance.
You took 15 years from me, Sonny, and now I'm gonna make you pay! You still don't get it, do you? I own you, Tommy! Those 15 years were mine to spend. Get him, boys, he never understood a thing. Tommy? Oh my god, Tommy, what, what happened? What does it look like? It looks like you ruined your suit, and Tommy, that was a beautiful suit. Tommy, what on earth happened? Had a disagreement with a business associate. You know how it is. Tommy, I have a disagreement. I send them an angry letter. Maybe I pee in their mailbox. I don't start World War III. You know, maybe you should speak to my shrink. That stupid prick, Lance. Tommy, I never liked that guy, okay? He's neurotic, he's insecure, he's self-centered. The guy's an asshole. I'm glad you took him out. I don't think we're going to be getting any more heat from up north either. Because there ain't no up north anymore. It's all down south now. Wait, does that mean what I think it means? Tommy, baby! What do you think it means? That we're in charge. I mean, I mean you're in charge. Oh, Tommy! You know, Ken, I think this could be the beginning of a beautiful business relationship. After all, you're a conniving, backstabbing, two-bit thief, and I'm a convicted psychotic killer and drug dealer. <laughs> I know. Ain't it just beautiful?
Things are interesting. How are you, my friend? I wanted to ask you about Mercedes. Okay. What about her? Oh, Tommy. Tommy, I, I, I hear these stories, all these stories. I don't know what to think. Maybe she thinks she could do what she likes. But Tommy, tell me, is it true? Is what true? These stories I hear. She, she, she really going to be a lawyer. Tommy, the shame. The shame. You know, we Cortez are a proud family. We would never allow a daughter of ours to become a lawyer. Please tell me it isn't so. I, I don't think I could take it. Oh, Kernan, I can assure you, Mercedes is never going to become a lawyer. Don't worry about it. Oh, thank you, Tommy. Tommy, thank you. The shame would be unbearable. She's a lady, not a parasite, you know? Anyway, Tommy, you must excuse me, all right? The new Minister of Interior has arrived. Many years ago, I killed his father in a failed coup, so I must be polite. Hey, good day, amigo. How's it going, Mr. Big Shot? I hear all these things about you, some kind of player in town now, eh? Paul, you're drunk. No, you stupid player, I ain't drunk. I had a couple, and some treats. I've been a bit of a couple of days, you know. Anyway, don't give me that, I ain't a mug. Who set you up in this town? Oh, me, that's who. Really? Don't give me that, don't. I introduced you to people, I showed you the ropes. Did a lot of stuff for you, and this is how you repay me, you ignore me. You won't give me a way in, or after all I'll give you. Would you think I am a devil, Sonny? Paul, take it easy. I've been busy. Don't be an idiot. I ain't no idiot, Mush. That's what I said in Bolstal. You are skip the trouble, son, because you're going to get it. <laughs> Tell me, mate, please. Use me big hope, please. Don't laugh at me. Uh, Paul, get some sleep. Seriously. Yes. Never trust a man who walks the streets in his pajamas, that's what I say. Glad you killed him. I hope it was painful for the prick. I think it was. You know, I just didn't think he was like that. Tommy, for a raging lunatic, you're pretty naive. I'll be back at work soon. Teach you a thing or two about life, you hear? Take your time, Ernest. Look after yourself. I never asked you, sister, around man. question. Is it right to lie? Clothes are a lie, Maurice. No, Barry. Clothes are a way of keeping warm and not getting arrested. No policeman has ever hit me with his trunch. I'd like to hit you back to hell, you sicko. You Tommy, it's Steve. You're a marble. I'm a marble. They love us. We are rewriting the record books, pal. We're talking major awards here. I can put my dad in a home and tell him to shut up. It's hot, man. Hot. H-O-T. He never believed in me. Never thought I was an artist. And now I've made it. 
I'm the best damn skin flick director of all time, my friend. And I just wanted to say, it's a pleasure to have met you. I love you, baby. Don't you go changing on me, you hear? for me to have five concubines to spread my genes or to use money from the statue for building my own palace in Hawaii? You think that's wrong, do you, son? Do you? Huh? No, 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 oh, Mr. Pastor. It's all right. I think it's very right. Very right indeed. You're the boss. You're in charge. You're the king. Damn right I am. Now, I'll tell you about morality. Morality is what I say is right, and immorality is what I say is wrong. You've got to understand this. <clears throat> oh, uh, I do. Oh, hey, I'm bleeding. Water. I need a proctologist. Shut it. Now, next question. Ask me anything. Ask me anything you want. Yeah, to, well, I'd love to, but it seems that that is about all we have time for, actually. <laughs> the thing is, you see, this is public radio, and every once in a while we need to appeal for money. Or cut away when people start brandishing guns in the studio. Like this. You're on pressing issues, and in this show we discussed morality. I think we made a lot of progress and really came together. I'm Maurice Chavez. Bye. Uh, please, don't kill me. I hope you were enjoying pressing issues. I certainly was. Yes, it's almost as interesting as listening to you, Jonathan. <laughs> wow. Thanks, Michelle. It is, isn't it? Before we let you get back to the show.